Okay, next we're going to reassemble our pump that we have cleaned up here. Here's all of the parts to assemble the pump. And to my left right here is the seal kit. In the seal kit, you're going to get the paper gasket. There's a washer right there, the Viton O-ring. And in this paper right here, you're going to get the Teflon seal right there and then the main mechanical seal. You want to use plenty of oil when reassembling this pump. Right here I'm using 10W30 motor oil, hydraulic oil, it doesn't really matter. Just something to keep it lubed up. I'm going to put a little bit of oil in the seat retainer here before I install the Viton seal. See this Viton seal, it has a black side and a white side. More black side goes down, more of the white side stays on the outside right there. Going to install this first on the shaft, right behind the main bearing right there. Put some more oil on here. Don't be shy with the oil, it's not going to do any damage. Next, I'm going to put the mechanical seal on there with the spring down and more of the rubber side to the back. Next is the little flat washer that comes in the seal kit. And it's a good idea to go ahead and clamp this into a vise so it's not going to be moving on you. Why install this small snap ring into place. Using this small pair of snap ring pliers, just spread it open enough to slide it over the main shaft right here. You don't want to stretch it out. Once I get it slid over the shaft, I use a crescent wrench Tap on it and it will snap this ring into place. There's a groove on that shaft where that snap ring will snap into place right there. Make sure that that's set in place. Next, I'm going to put a little oil on the housing and a little bit of oil on this Viton O-ring. There's a small groove in here that this O-ring will seat in. Make sure it's in there. There we go. Next, I'm going to install the main drive shaft with the new seals in here. Go ahead slide it in there using your plastic hammer go ahead tap that in there until you hear it click in place and then you need to install the big snap ring which holds that whole shaft in there using the larger pair of snap ring pliers you'll feel a pop into place right there make sure it's set in there next I'm gonna apply some more oil in here down in that port right there where that small shaft sits into Here's the key that holds that second gear in place on the main shaft. Make sure that the key's in place. Slide the gear over the shaft. Tap it down right here. Make sure it sits flush with the housing. Next, I'm going to install the second smaller shaft with the other gear on there using more oil. Slide it right in there. Then after I get these in, I like to turn the pump a little bit here just to make sure that my gears are rotating. Next, I'm gonna clamp it in the vise here. We're gonna put the paper gasket on here. As you see, there's three holes right there. That one right there in the middle, because there's two pegs right here. Those two pegs right there is where you wanna slide your gasket over. We're gonna put some more oil on the back housing right here. Don't be worried about getting oil on that gasket. Go ahead and slide it on there. Make sure it seats properly. And we're going to reinstall all of our eight Allen bolts. After snugging up all of our eight Allen bolts here, making sure you go in a star pattern. I'm going to snug them up to about five pounds with the Allen wrench right here. Go in a star pattern. Just like tightening up a tire on a car. You don't want to go around in a circle, just use that star pattern to distribute the load right there. Pretty much ready to go here. We're just going to uh, reinstall the drive sprocket, which runs the chain. Putting the key in place. Sliding the sprocket back over the shaft here. I'm going to tap it on. And there's two set screws that you're going to re-tighten right here to keep that sprocket from moving. One set screw right there, and there's one more. Make sure the pump is turning freely. 
the last step I need to do, I need to fill this housing up with some oil, removing the small bolt right there. I'm going to take some of the same oil I was using and fill up this housing. Inside this housing is where the mechanical seal sits. It needs to be lubricated at all times. So it doesn't take very much, you know, maybe a couple ounces. There you go, it's full. Now that I got that filled up, I'm going to reinstall the bolt there. We'll get that plugged up and get ready to put this back onto the frame.